what I experienced with some other engineering students, what they would do is that in the beginning of their engineering journey in college, they would front load. They would take a bunch of their electives. That way they would have a little more time available. And so the last couple of years, maybe their senior year, they would have a little bit more free time to work on their senior design project or work or who knows what else, or maybe even go out and party. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we have a question from our friend, Michael. He says, hi, I am a freshman engineering student. And I was wondering how many credits would you advise someone to take a semester in order to achieve the best grades? Great question, by the way. Funny, when I was in engineering school, I never really thought about this question. <laughs> I was just going through the motions and just taking one class at a time and talking with my advisor. And maybe I definitely could have done a little better. And back then, my friend, I wish I would have known what I'm about to tell you today. So let's take this apart. And the first thing I'm going to say here is that when, as I mentioned a little earlier, when I was in engineering school, uh, I remember the first couple of years were not as busy. Actually, no, 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 no. The first couple of years were busy, but the second, the last two years of my engineering curriculum were even busier. That's the way my path went. And that's because the first two years I did them at a community college, which was quite a bit of work, but not as much volume, definitely as when I transferred to a four-year university, which was Virginia Tech. When I went to Virginia Tech, four-year university, big school, great engineering school, oh boy, the volume, the group projects, the assignments, the lab reports, a lot of things went up in volume, the number of classes that I had to take per semester in order to catch up, increased, of course, and also, of course, because I was going into my third and fourth years, the difficulty of the classes themselves were also increased. And so there's a lot of things that changed when I went from my second year to my third year. And I had to do what I had to do. I didn't really have the time to plan ahead. But if perhaps if I would have started since my first year at Virginia Tech in a four year university, maybe I would have paired up with a counselor, which most universities, at least in the United States, I want to say that they have counselors. Generally speaking, they're responsible for helping or guaranteeing the success of the students when it comes to making sure that they're following a path, they're following a degree path, making sure all the classes are taken care of, make, they're making sure all the credits that you need to take are taken at the right time. And so I know that it can be confusing. There's a lot of things that are going on. So what I'm going to say here, my friend, the first thing I'm going to say to you here, Michael, is that the bottom line is that you got to do what you got to do right now. You're in a good spot because you're a freshman. And so you can plan ahead. That's awesome. That's wonderful. The second thing that I'm going to mention here is that you need to talk to your counselor. That's the first thing that I would do. Talk to your counselor and look at your engineering curriculum. If you've already chosen a major, if you already know exactly what you want to do, then I would definitely talk to my counselor and see, okay, I want to do mechanical engineering. Let's just take that for an example. I want to do mechanical engineering. And so what is the degree path for mechanical engineering? Your counselor, or maybe you have access to that as well in your university, that, that's online. So you pull up your engineering curriculum and you look at each semester and you see at the recommended classes that the school has for each semester. Generally speaking, the school already spread out all the classes, all the engineering classes that you, had to, that you have to take for such degree. And ideally, I wanna say that they already did the work for you to guarantee the best results for yourself. That is, they're picking a couple of engineering classes per semester and they're combining them with a couple of other non-engineering classes so that way you're not too overloaded. And so I, that's the first thing that I would do, get together with my counselor and look at my degree path. Now, every semester, you need to check with your degree path to check that you're on track because sometimes counselors do mess up, they make mistakes. And so just make sure that every semester you look at your degree path and make sure you're on track so that way you don't overstay 
in college just because you're missing one class and you have to stay one whole semester just so that you can take the damn class or you want to avoid a senior year that is too overloaded just because you didn't take certain classes in the beginning of your engineering career so make sure that you do that now if you need to catch up with some classes i would consider the summer if you need to do that hey quick break here thank you guys for being here i appreciate your support if you're enjoying this video and you're getting value please make sure that you smash the like button it really does help out the channel and also subscribe all right let's keep watching the video so here is the part that you've been waiting for when it comes to the number of engineering classes that you should take per semester to guarantee quote unquote to guarantee the best results the best grades from my experience i was taking i think i took up to six engineering classes at some point i wouldn't recommend it because it's it can be very very hectic especially if you have to take other non-engineering classes just so that you're able to catch up so that way you'll graduate on time that's why i'm saying that you need to make sure that you plan ahead uh, from the beginning which is what you're doing which is great now generally speaking i think that personally taking four classes worth of engineering curriculum and that is assuming three credits per class i want to say that's actually pretty decent four engineering classes 12 credits that's not that bad when you start going into 15 16 18 credits worth of engineering classes that can be that can start getting a little rough but if you have to do it I, I i guarantee you you can pull it off you just have to put your mind to it the bottom line my friend is that you gotta check your engineering curriculum make sure that you spread your classes accordingly make sure that all the semesters are taken care of and take responsibility for your degree path because at the end of the day is your path now what i experience with some other engineering students what they would do is that in the beginning of their engineering journey in college they would front load they would take a bunch of their electives in the beginning in the first couple of years so that way they will have a little more time available in the last couple of years of their engineering journey and so the last couple of years maybe their senior year they would have a little bit more free time to work on their senior design project or work or who knows what else or maybe even go out and party but those are just some options that you can consider and think of as you move forward or go along in your engineering journey and the last thing i want to mention here is that if for some reason you end up messing up on a semester and things don't go accordingly then what I suggest you do is you go watch this video right here where I tell you how you can recover from a bad semester. It's good to keep in mind some of the techniques that you can use when you want to recover from a bad semester because let's face it in engineering school we all have we all have those semesters that are so and so so thank you guys for watching thank you michael for the question and i'll see you guys on the next one take care guys peace